Hello, welcome back to City Skylines. Pretty much where we left off just now. We'll be grabbing our train stations right now and putting them in these gaps. That's one in, and we are going to need a new one. I was hoping we wouldn't necessarily need to buy new things, but I'm not too disconcerted about doing that. So there's that bit of railway line going in. I don't necessarily mind too much if we have to do an elevated section of road there. I suspect we will. So, let's deal with that right now, after we put the railway line in. Railway line, railway line, railway line, railway line. So, the railway line itself is actually going to be running along here. So, I will be deleting that bit of road, that bit of road. So what's the idea of the railway line running along here? Well, the idea of the railway line running along here is so that the slope is too steep. Back up to ground level. I suppose the easiest way of doing it would be to just have Railway, and have it come up as fast as it possibly can. Nice. Interesting, gonna have some slope problems, I suspect, but just run that out to there. When we're running that out to there, well, I know the place I want to put a, ra a railway station is out here. Um, because I want a decent or a slight connection. I want to improve my connections to the rest of my city. And I do have a railway station down here, which connects up to the line that vanishes off in that direction. But I would very much like to be able to get goods in to this district. Just that little bit easier. Now this line ducks underneath and comes into that station. I don't want to put extra traffic on that line. So I will probably be looking at putting some kind of junction in here, but that's for a later date. So I'm going to leave that line as a dead end as it is, but we are going to grab our slightly curvy roads, connect this up. To connect you on a straight a bit more. Like that. It's basically making that this is not the primary route that people want to be taking. They will be doing this route to get in there to where they want to go. Right. For the short term, let's bring that out to there. And you to here. So we now have our connection plug that in. Now we need to put our roads back. Start with upgrading you to something nicer. Give me a pair of pages up. Come across and come back down. Okay. We have a proximity problem. We're not able to climb as easily as I wanted to now. Because that's in the way. Interesting. Okay. Oops, there we go. Slightly the wrong one there. Quickly work out which direction that was going. That was this way. Okay then. Thank you. 
Gongus goeth the graveyard. Tolleth for me and my unfortunate unplannings. Right. Done. Okay. So you look like that. So there is space for all of the zoning along here. And we will get back to putting our road network in. That was coming up as close as we possibly could. Coming across. Space apparently already occupied by the bridge. Unfortunately, we are not necessarily constrained by straight lines. Right, so. Fair enough. I admit I am slightly defeated. Done. Well, what all its weirdness? I'm going to be able to get over this. Yes. Like so. Back out the other way. Too steep, you say? Okay. So we're throwing another curve in to the other end. Like that. Okay. That should enable anyone who might want to get to paratrain stations and reduce the through flow. Only people getting oops, sorry. Only people getting to the train stations need to go to the train stations. Train stations are not on the way to anything else. Anything that remains to be done is to reconnect that. So, just know there's a weird little flange and tangent on the end over here for this little graveyard. Right. Now we just start filling in with all the other bits and pieces that we've got. Might take a while, so I'll do a few. Now, I do want to grab the incineration plants. And put them in the absolute front and center of the system so we can have the most excellent garbage disposal we possibly can. And I'm just going to grab all of them and put them in a grid over here. This should provide us with plenty. Garbage solutions, so I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, that should definitely make sure they're all filled up. Lots of fire stations, don't necessarily know if we'll need all of them, but it'd be better to have many of them than none. You are the industrial college. Somehow I don't feel like putting you there, right in front of all of that, but I will stick you there, in the central location, with our satellite disk across the road. Right. You're a single line metro station, so I will put you roughly central at that end. And we've got another single line metro station. The other thing we might do actually in terms of expanding this is rather than bring it out this way, what we might do is just continue it round, just have it continue going that way. That might be actually more interesting. So in that vein, let's not grab that one, let's grab that one and put it beside the university. And we'll grab this one, which was in the center, and we will put it here, 
just about there. Ground. All right. Let's get them connected up while we think. So we want this line around here. Let's just switch to a straight one. You go from there to there, and then you go to there. In the interim, I'm going to throw an arc off from here. up to there, which means we can now drag that line up to here. And of course, your glacial stops. So, so that's the line that goes all the way from here to here, which was the orange metro line. Number 10. Spider Owl. This goes between the spider and the owl. Owl, spider, spider, owl. Speaking of districts, yes, you do encompass everything I could possibly want all the way out there. What I will do is I will preliminarily expand you out to here. I was saying this area in here might be getting serviced by a dedicated extra road, perhaps. I'll have a think about it. Possibly what I could do is have a... I don't know. I just don't know. I mean, I've got this is kind of fixed in now. This is the limit of it. I could go further out the other side, but I would need to... Possibly what the solution might be is to put... A road junction that comes along here and just shortcuts this. Extend that one out to a perimeter road and then build a new industrial area that joins in from the other side and have this, the train extensions down the middle shared along with the services here also shared. So yeah, we'll have a think of that. One thing I am just going to do though. Give me a straight line. Let's put a road across the front of that. Just give us a nice little loop we're probably going to need. Right. What have we got left? Your a crematorium. Okay. I'm going to put you next to the metro station. And that side. There's another crematorium, I think. Yes. The graveyard down there. Can you sit in the middle? Oh, that's three wide. All right. Just uh, go there then. In fact, you no, know, okay, happy where you are. So now we've got police station. So one police station, two, three, four police stations, I believe. Okay, so let's have. One firehouse, two three four. And the reason I've put them on the opposite sides of the road is just to make it a little bit easier. So these guys will be going this make it easier to go this way, these guys will be going this way, because they don't like the um sims of this place don't like making U turns around these corners at all. They just don't like it. Now, we need a medical clinic, so we've got two of those. Okay, so we'll put them opposite. Where's the other medical clinic? It's a firehouse, firehouse, firehouse. Ah, there it is. Here, so we've got really good coverage on those. Firehouse. Okay, well, let's put you in pairs, in the gaps in between. Because this place is just going to be all manner of busy with fire. 
so I don't necessarily want it getting too badly chewed up. That's a ramp that goes that way around. You there. You there. Now, the spare firehouses. I will leave for later. Do I have another right? When I'm talking about doing extra things, I'm talking about putting some kind of depot area up in this section of the woods. Right. Huge park. It's there any space for you at all. You don't fit in between anymore. Well I definitely know we're not going to be expanding out in that direction. So I think I will also leave you where you are. Let's grab Sunken Plaza. And put them. Okay, so yeah. Sunken Plaza. Japanese Garden. Start from the other end. Vaguely try and line that up. Japanese Garden. Disappear. Another Japanese garden, Circle Plaza Japanese garden. So that goes there. So I do apparently need another Japanese garden. What else have we got? It's a plaza with trees. A slightly larger. Do we have another? Let's say do we have three of you. Okay. Some trees. I'll uh, grab the last plaza of trees and I'll put it next to the university. Alright, so we've got a load of playgrounds and other bits and pieces. I am just going to leave you sat where you are for now because I'm not that fussed about you. I am going to make sure that you are connected up in some way, shape, or form to the road network so that you can be serviced and/or used. This district is going to become something at a later date. But right now, I'm just going to leave you be for there. So, that's that lot in. There will be water already. In fact, let's uh, grab the water. Pump that in over there. And actually, for a strange change, delete some of this. Because there is no point in having... This vast amount of water network. We are simply not going to be using it. So notice that while I am underground. I should Come on, give me a delete. Thank you. Scrub, scrub, scrub away from the unnecessary water pipes. Really? Yep, alright, that's that lot done. Don't think I need you either. Right, that's that set of water pipes done. The other thing I was looking at was I suddenly realised I needed to pull you all the way out to here. Oop, that didn't take. Pull you out to here and then include these stops. Nice. Okay, so the last bit we'll sort out is the bus routes. So from there to there to there to there to there to there to 
Okay, because it's too... Not go from there to there. Not oh, easy, apparently. I can go from here to here. Nope. So I'm locked into a turn for that one, but not for that one. Okay, it looks like bizarrely, for some reason, every other stop requires some kind of connection. Interesting. Right, so that'll be a loop going around that way. I don't think that's necessary. It's very close enough. So that's our new spider bus route. Go that way around. It can't go the other way around. Well, it could do. I could put one going the other way around. It's not a new line. And there. Interesting. I only have it stopping every other. Can't go there. Can go there. And then there we go. So we've got two routes that weave around here. Reasonable connections to our MTR network. It's not much of a walk from there to a bus stop. Right. Let's just get those coloured, shall we? Line name. Bus line 52. Dot blue. Spider 1. Yeah, Spider 1. Bus line 53, get red, you will be spider 2. Nice. Okay. Don't need that necessarily. I am going to color myself. Reasonably happy with this. Now, I'm going to unpause it. And we've got a load of traffic, we've got buses, we've got all sorts of gibberish all over the place. So this is going to cause endless amounts of fun. So let's find out. Speed 3, if you please. So our traffic suddenly tries to work out where on earth it's meant to be. Apparently I had a load of traffic over there. Ah, that's the other thing we need to suddenly be thinking about, is power. Power the graveyard. Power line over there. That's fully connected up across there. I need to put a power line in there. That's connected up. So I just need a power line. I need a power line across here. Or I could grab a park. What park would I like? Grab you. Solve that one. So Let's uh, bundle you all together a little bit more. So I only need to have the one power cable. All right. Clicks gone. Your traffic is sorting itself out. They work out where it is they want to be going. You lot are all heading to the railway station, which is ideal. What I want you to be doing. I suspect we'll see a train up here in a moment. Total lack of any new industrial buildings, which is very indicative of the uh, 
fact that we had no demand. There's this huge estate and no demand. So, how do you have no power when you're right next to a power line? What we should see is some growth and some development. Maybe even a few of these guys saying, oh, no, no, we're fine, we've got workers. This area, is, yeah, it just works a lot better. Because it's just arranged in what could be called the same manner. Interesting. There's a load of buses hauling out. I had thought that I had restricted that so it was services only. She should be using this road to support it. Let's get the traffic president out. Vehicle restrictions. Yeah, it should be emergency services only. No trucks. Buses are good, no private things with taxis, yes. Alright, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. As we let time dig on a little bit, we'll wait and see whether or not this proves to be a success or not. I think, given the sheer number of on and off ramps I've got, and the sheer number of rows that you get in and out of here, I am decidedly encouraged as to its possibilities, but we will find out. Thank you very much for watching. I have been the Marmoset. This has been Anna and Andy on our Let's Play Series Carnines. Please remember to like, comment, and or subscribe.